everybody i just wanted to hop on and wish you all a happy canada day i hope you're all having a great day um we certainly are enjoying the family time over here so i also learned recently that first of july is national ginger snap day so i thought what better way to celebrate than to hop on and share with you guys um, a ginger tap, snap cookie recipe so let's get started first up you want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees fahrenheit Okay, so next I'm going to go over our ingredients. So right here I have two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. Right here I have two teaspoons of ground ginger, one teaspoon of baking soda, and one teaspoon of cinnamon, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Next I have three quarters of a cup of butter, um, just melted a little. One cup of sugar. I've got a mug of water here. I'm just going to take one tablespoon out when it gets to that stage. Um, quarter cup of molasses right here. And two tablespoons of sugar. Okay, so let's get started. So we've got in our large mixing bowl here, we've got our butter. To the butter, we're going to add our one cup of sugar. And you're just going to mix that together. Hopefully you guys can all see me here. So we're just going to cream this together. Once that's creamed together, you're going to add in your egg. This is a super, super easy recipe. I can do this one along with my kids, so it's that simple. But my husband is home today as it's Canada Day, so I might as well make most of the of him watching the kids. So you mix in your egg. Okay. Go. Next up, you're going to add in your treacle i'll give you a little or sorry molasses you call it over here i'm from uk so i still use the british word sometimes um a little tip when you're putting uh, molasses into one of these measuring cups give it a little spray of non-stick cooking spray first and it comes out super easy so you're not waiting for hours to dribble that molasses out still seems to take a little while but if anyone's done it without the uh, without the uh, spray in there you'll know what i'm talking about so that's it almost all out here. And I'll let you see the cup when I'm done. We're going to a drive-in movie this evening for a can to celebrate Canada Day. Um, so we'll be taking these cookies along with us. I thought, you know, this is a good way to tie both days together. National Ginger Snap Day along with Canada Day. So super excited. So there you go. You'll see there's just one little bit left, which would have come out if I'd just given it a couple of seconds more. That over to the sink. So we're going to add in our tablespoon of uh, one tablespoon of water now. Just pop that in there, and then we're going to give that a mix. So you see, it nice goes a nice dark golden color. If you can't see it right now, I'll give you a glance before I add in the rest of the ingredients so you know what you're looking for. There you go. Okay, so next up we're going to grab our flour, two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. You're going to grab your uh, gin ginger, your cinnamon, all that stuff. Pour it in. I'm just going to grab a spoon here. And we're just going to mix that together till everything's combined. You'll see it nice and smooth and consistent colouring, then you'll know it's right through. There we go, so you'll see nice and smooth color. Just gonna pop that in with our um, butter and sugar mixture here, and just gonna mix it until it's combined. Now, as anyone will know who's watched my videos before, I'm no professional cook or chef or any of that. I'm just a mom that gets the job done.
and sometimes if I'm doing this with my little people then we use the mixer I just find it saves the fight over who's going to mix this and less flour going around the kitchen so you're just going to mix this until it's all combined so I'll give you a glance when that's done okay so that's our mixture combined you'll see it's nice and smooth you're going to need your two tablespoons of sugar in a bowl ready for rolling these cookies in you also need a cookie sheet right here i'm using a bacon roll liner from epicure if anybody's interested in that bacon roll uh, liner then just check out my link to my epicure page there um it just helps stick uh stop the cookie sticking it um keeps your cookie sheets nice and clean so you're going to take about golf ball kind of size um balls now you're going to roll it together like this you're going to grab one roll it in the sugar so it's just nice and gently coated you're going to pop them onto the cookie sheet and space these about two inches apart just do another one then i can let you see the next step there Okay, so there you go, nice and coated in sugar. Pop it on your cookie sheet. You want them about two inches apart, so if you're using a regular size cookie sheet, just pat them down just a little bit. Keep going until all your dough's um, rolled into balls here. So here you have it, that's them uh, rolled, pressed down just a little, and they're ready to pop into our preheated oven. We're just gonna bake them for eight to 10 minutes, so we'll get those in the oven, and I'll let you see when they're done. Okay, so we just pulled these out the oven and they actually took 15 minutes, but I think I made mine a little bigger. You'll know when they're cooked because they start to go just like a little, um, see if I can get this on the screen right, crackle on the cookie just like this one right here. So just going to leave them to cool on the uh, baking sheet and then you're going to pop them into an airtight container and then just enjoy them. Um, thanks for watching guys, be sure to follow my channel, check out my Facebook page www.facebook.com forward slash the happy healthy homemaker. Um, and yeah, see you around. Thank you, everyone.